Elegant, slim, and actually quite attractive. Those are not exactly the words you would use to describe a typical gaming laptop, but that's not the case for this one, which we admit isn't technically a gaming laptop either. It's a convertible Ultrabook. But why did we compare it to a gaming laptop? Well, because this little gray guy has some gaming aspirations. It packs a GeForce GTX 1050 4GB graphics card inside, and to our knowledge, Acer is the only brand who've been able to put a GTX card in a system like this, except for Microsoft's expensive Surface Book laptops. The device in question is called the Acer Spin 5, and it also comes in more modest Ultrabook convertible configurations that say pack a 13-inch screen and integrated graphics. But this one punches a little higher with an 8th gen i5-8250U quad-core slash 8-thread processor and the aforementioned gaming-grade graphics card. Now, let's first call a spade a spade. This is primarily a convertible with an ultra-low voltage processor. That means it only maxes at 15 watts, a fraction of the power capabilities in a desktop CPU and outclassed by the non-ULV processors of proper gaming laptops. The main advantage of that low wattage though is this device's 0.7 inch thickness, which may be the thinnest laptop with a GTX 1050 inside it. And that brings me back to my original point. This thing sure looks quite gorgeous with its real brushed aluminum, chamfered edges and elegant design. It's a feature-packed convertible too. The 360-degree hinge allows you to use it in the popular styles of tent mode, tablet mode, stand mode, and laptop mode. In all modes, the speakers do a decent job, but that's not all. You also get a pretty accurate pressure-sensitive stylus in the box as well. So you creative types can work on sketches, design work, or even doodle notes into the IPS 1080p touchscreen. It's great for the corporate world too. Nobody would bat an eye if you pull this out in the boardroom and your important files are secured by a fast embedded fingerprint scanner on the touchpad. Speaking of that touchpad, you get a smooth metallic one that works and looks great with chamfered metal edges. And the white backlit chiclet keyboard is comfortable to type in as well. Tactile feeling with comfortable sounding clicks. In fact, all of these design cues and features describe a relatively good overall convertible laptop. And the CPU Cinebenches quite well too for the productivity tasks you'd need to do in the office. But as we mentioned before, that's not what makes this guy special. It's the device's capability to pump out games in the guise of a mild-mannered office computer that really piques our interest. And it does an okay job at it if you consider that it won't compare to dedicated gaming laptops out there. The Ultrabook processor and limited cooling capabilities of a thin laptop lowers the frame rates you'd expect in certain games like Watch Dogs 2. More telling is when you add a laptop cooling pad under the machine, you'll get better frame rates. So you're basically limited by thermals here and the non-gaming grade processor inside. But there are still games out there that will run decently, like GTA V. At worst, the CPU will throttle down a little and your temperatures can get into the toasty 80 to 90 degrees Celsius range. Unfortunately, that means the laptop makes high-pitched fan noises and becomes a hand warmer too. The keyboard WASD keys blow hot air into your fingers, thus we suggest plugging in peripherals when you want to game for long periods. That at least shouldn't be a problem because the Spin 5 comes with an assortment of ports which include HDMI, two USB 3.0, USB Type-C, USB 2.0, and an SD card reader. Temperatures aside, it actually puts up a strong Fire Strike score of 5000 on its second run, and that tells us that simpler games like Dota, CSGO, and League of Legends will run great while top games like Rise of the Tomb Raider will be playable still. For expert users, a CPU undervolt might actually bring temps down enough to make it throttle less too. So there's clearly a compromise here. Thinner machine designed for flexible corporate and multimedia use that becomes a low-key gaming machine when the lights come down. And honestly, I think it's worth it. Some of us just needs that sleek, corporate, low-key look, but still want to play games on the side. 
Pricing wise, it's not that bad either with an SRP of 65,000 Philippine pesos. Gaming laptops with similar specs usually ask for the same amount of money, but don't come in this sleek aluminum build. Doesn't have a touchscreen, aren't convertible, doesn't have a pressure sensitive stylus, and doesn't even have a fingerprint scanner. Plus, even convertibles in this price range generally don't pack a graphics card at all. That's what makes this an interesting machine. But compared to dedicated convertibles, this is a relatively large device. Not in thickness, but in footprint. The 15.6 inch display is considered large for 2-in-1s and the screen bezels could have been smaller in our opinion. Plus, owing to the fact that it is built with solid aluminum materials, it also tips the scales at nearly 5 pounds, comparable to thicker gaming laptops with plastic panels. Lastly, a weird omission here is a place to put your stylus in. It doesn't attach via magnets and doesn't have a silo or loop to slip into. So that's another thing you'll have to pack outside the size of the laptop next to the thankfully small 90 watt charger. Speaking of which, battery life is good at around 6 hours video playback and gaming will net you around an hour and a half. Not the best in its class, but for a convertible with a GPU, that's actually quite nice. Alright, so let's wrap this up. The Acer Spin 5 with the GTX 1050 is a properly understated machine with slightly compromised gaming capabilities. While it unfortunately can't run games like PlayerUnknown's Battleground smoothly enough, there's enough oomph here to run games like GTA V. The Ultrabook processor has 4 cores, 8 threads, which should handle productivity quite well, and maybe even some video editing too. If you also help it out a little bit with some extra external cooling and maybe a CPU undervolt, you'll likely get a lot more out of it too. But let me just be clear here. This laptop is targeting a specific audience. Corporate users will want a business-like laptop and there are many of those. Gamers will want a more dedicated machine and there are many of those too. The Acer Spin 5 in most of its configurations is a productivity-minded device. By adding a 1050 in it to play games, it tries to attract the users in between. The gamers who have to wear a suit to the office, or the gamer who needs a slimmer device to plop on an airplane tray and watch a movie. Funny enough, that's exactly the niche we fall under ourselves. We just wish it was lighter. As it is one of a kind, we do have to give it a highly recommended award, but only for those looking for this specific set of features. If Acer designed this with a gaming laptop base and just didn't add ugly aggressive styling or red accents to it, they might have come up with a package more people will love, but then again, it wouldn't be a thin, convertible, stylus-capable machine either. So there. I'm Alex from TechnoClass.com, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.